The focus from Cabinet here today will be it's business as usual and they won't be distracted by the scandal that brought down Francois de Rougy uh, yesterday. Elizabeth Bourne appointed pretty swiftly into that role to replace him uh, late last night. She'll be sworn in a bit later on this afternoon. Uh, and the message from uh, government officials who've been briefing members of the media in the past 24 hours or so is that she's a competent Cabinet Minister. She already serves uh, as the Minister of Transport, a position she will keep while taking on these additional responsibilities uh, at the Ministry. Ministry uh, of Environment. Uh, they say that she already has some environmental experience, having served uh, in the 90s as the Chief of Staff to Seneline Royale when she was the Environment Minister. And they say that, crucially, she's a good negotiator because uh, uh, during her time as uh, the Transport Minister, she has been negotiating um, on the government's behalf with the SNCF, the French uh, Transport Network, in these contracted negotiations over uh, some very controversial reforms here. So they say she's competent, she'll get the job done, and the focus from them will be getting on with the business of government, with those crucial uh, environmental reforms the government wants to implement and won't be bogged down uh, in this de Rougy affair. Nadia, the, the government then trying to draw a line under the problems that have been plaguing this ministry? Yeah, that's absolutely right. Uh, remember, in the past year, uh, Emmanuel Macron's government has lost two environment ministers. First, there was Nicolas Hulot, a man who was uh, really something of a celebrity uh, environmentalist when he took on that role. Emmanuel Macron uh, really celebrated for bringing him in uh, as environment minister. But he resigned unexpectedly last summer, saying uh, at the time uh, that Emmanuel Macron was all talk and no action when it came uh, to the environment. So they appointed Francois de Rougy into that role. He was seen to be a stable pair of hands who would get things done on this in this crucial ministry uh, for uh, the government. But then he was forced to resign yesterday amid the scandals that allegedly he'd been uh, dining out on the taxpayers' money, treating his friends to lobster uh, and champagne at the taxpayers' expense. Now, that's a particularly damning allegation for this government because it has, of course, been embroiled in allegations that this government doesn't represent ordinary people, that Emmanuel Macron is the president of the rich. And it did seem that perhaps the government was turning the corner in that kind of public relations battle quite recently. The numbers of yellow vest protesters out in the streets have been dwindling in the past uh, couple of weeks. Emmanuel Macron's personal approval ratings were just starting to rise. So the real hope here at Cabinet today is that this scandal uh, won't linger, uh, that they can put the Derugia affair behind them and focus on uh, the key environmental priorities of this government.